So is that like, uh, is that a confession that old people shouldn't be doing this? Mm-hmm. Or like... <laughs> <laughs> old people Sorry, should I... not be using spatial computing. Yeah, oh, okay. Those are your words, not mine. Uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to make a stamp there because we, yeah. we need that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Save time and money, right? Like buyer's remorse. You might think you like something, but you're seeing a sample of it. And then once it's in your house, you're like, man, I wish it would have gone with the darker. But it was like, I just spent 20 grand on the floor. I can't replace it. I, I just think that there's certain tools and applications that uh, education-wise, this is going to be huge for... Think about your experience with, as you mentioned, in American football. Welcome, everyone, to another great episode of the Puff Drink Talk podcast. Uh, again, I'm still your host. I haven't been fired yet. Conrad Schubach. <laughs> Dylan Wilson. I'm subscribed. Oh, no, no. I'm Hilton Kill. <laughs> and George Biden. George. Oh, I Did you the say champion. George Biden? George Biden. Oh, a George Biden. It's his oh. actual name. Get to yeah. know your co-host. Jeez. No, I thought he said <laughs> Biden. I was like, George Biden? Who's that? Okay. No, my mistake. Whiskey years over here. Uh, and as a... <laughs> As Hilton so Freudianly slipped, leave us a comment, a like, a comment, a share, subscribe, and uh, we will soon be uh, expanding into other platforms. So you can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and possibly Tidal. We're still figuring that one out, but yep. uh, definitely those two other other platforms. So give us a star, and on Spotify, what do you do? I don't know what that is. How are we going to learn about that? Yeah, so. we'll learn about Spotify. So whatever you do to give us some, some love, show us some support, uh, please do it on our other platforms. And, and on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Yes, sir. All right. So I hope everyone's having a great start of their week. Today, we're going to be talking about the newly released, super controversial. It's not controversial, is it? I mean, there's some controversy to it. Price to value. Uh, the Apple Vision, spatial computing. So uh, Apple just announced release, and uh, it's making its way to the first round of testers and celebrities and Marcus Lee Brown and, and all of the famous YouTube stars that are you know getting their hands on it and actually... You know, providing their first thoughts, impressions, reviews. We've already seen yep. quite a few videos of what it is capable of in real time. Uh, uh, you know, interacting with your environment and and all of the the features and the benefits of it. I guess the only controversy that I would say about it is the price tag: thirty five hundred bucks before taxes. So you're looking at a four grand piece of sunglasses that can. That can do a lot of things. Um, so, and besides that, you go, you want to ensure is that. Yeah, you want to ensure that you know, like so. Definitely, it's going to be more than four thousand. In each app, actually, you're going to need apps for that. So it's going to be even more expensive. So I wouldn't I wouldn't count only on the four thousand. I would say forty five hundred. Is it not like yeah. AirPlay to the thing? But it's um, Apple, or just like Mirror, or whatever you have on your. You can Apple do that. account, yeah, right. Um, yeah, so uh, the same way that your phone talks your to your watch, watch or computer, mm-hmm. it'll do the same. Yes. So you could um, work you can on your laptop, multimedia. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. It's gonna be part of the ecosystem. Uh, if you don't mind, I would just ask. I would like to ask you. Yes. Have you guys ever had experience with the VR before? Any of the, the first VRs and I had it. Yeah. Oculus. Yes. I have, uh, I have had it? an experience. Mm-hmm. I felt kind of sick actually because uh, I was at my um, my sister's house or so my brother-in-law he's got one he's an early adopter so uh, he gets it and he's already sold that one bought a new one I don't know which model no no I, w- I would ask when was it uh, 2020 2020 okay so you're talking about four years no hold on no 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 it's, no no it's early hold on uh 2017, because okay. that's that's when, right. um, yeah, 2017. Well, yeah. Seven years ago. Seven years. Yeah. So just to have a uh, reference. So yeah, because uh, it was. Uh, you said you were, you were. Yeah, I got because he had like a, on a lunar mission kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So you are like on a, yep. a station, 
mm-hmm. and you're just floating around, right? And then you gotta move yourself around, but you're not moving your body. I like I felt like my body's not moving, but I'm moving. Yeah. So I, I kind of got dizzy. I was like, no man, I cannot do this because I was I was gonna. Was it uh, a specific probably, room only for that, or no? Or it was I was just, just sitting down on his couch. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. It's also important to, to contextualize all yeah of yeah this. yeah so i'm okay. just sitting down on the couch and then you know wearing that thing and then going into this um, um you know ship whatever it's called mm-hmm. spacecraft spacecraft and i was just like no like grabbing the things to move around and because it's like zero gravity so i felt dizzy and then alice she was five at the time so she's 11 now so she was five at the time and she she played with it and she was fine my daughter she was fine a native (laughs) she played with it and she played for a long time i I played about two minutes and i had i have to stop man i have to stop because i don't i cannot do it so So is that like uh is that a confession that old people shouldn't be doing this Mm -hmm. or like (laughs) (laughs) old people should not be using spatial computing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Those are your words, not mine. Uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Just have he can stamp there because we, yeah. we need that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to come back and blackmail me. Yeah. That. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. You're going to pay. Yeah. You're going to pay. Never mess with the editor. <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> with the AI now, maybe yeah. he can reproduce your, you know, your voice in yeah. many different ways. You know, he, can, he can do that. <laughs> So, <laughs> I didn't think that one through. <laughs> Can we cut it? Yeah, listeners and viewers, I apologize. But Hilton is not an old man. He's very cognitively there. Right on second thought. Yeah, on second yeah. thought. <laughs> so he could run for president. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> please, please, we need someone with cognizance and skills in the office. Like myself? Yeah. Okay. Past eight years. Uh, I cannot run because I wasn't born here. Oh, that's true. That's true. But you're a U.S. citizen. That's right? never true. No, you can't. Even though, even if you no, are, yet, but that's man. If, if that if that could if that would be true, Arnold Schwarzenegger would be the president of this country. Ah, uh, he can't. He can run for other political up uh, to government. Yes, government yes. positions. I'm not sure he if he be can be sen- uh, senator. I'm not sure. Oh, interesting. But a president, I'm pretty sure he can't be. No, yeah, president. Not even a vice president too, because a vice president board. is the first one in the you know in the ranking to become a president. So right, my so, daughter yeah. can. So yeah, I can actually um, you know um, start her off and live vicariously um, through her. Let me correct what I Although said. Although I don't like politics, so I don't care. Anything, I think anything that can become a president, you know, like the designator survivor or something, Thank they you. need to be American, like the, you know, like. The house of the speak the the, the speak of the house. Speaker of the house. Yeah, yeah the speaker of the house because he's a third in less. So third, yep. no one who you know who get who gets president line, president line can be uh, can. If you're so basically North. anything federally government related, you have to be a yeah. born U.S. If you're citizen. in line, for example, you're president, but then you went on vacation, and then the vice president gets yeah, you. But then the vice president has to travel. Session. And then the speaker, the speaker, speaker the house, house. you know, gets the presidency. And then he has to take a day off because a family member died. And then somebody else, you know, on the line will. There's a TV the series. <laughs> There's a TV series works. called <laughs> the Designate Survivor. I'm just saying. <laughs> so everybody dies, and he is protecting a different place. And then he's no, he's a nobody. Yeah. And then he becomes the president. Well, like a uh, right? Yeah, this is a TV show on that. Yeah. Okay. With the there's like a comedy movie too about like a, there's like only one guy that like didn't <coughs> vote and the vote ended up in a tie exactly and so he's like the deciding factor yeah. and everybody's lobbying for him to like pick a side um, never a position you want to be in yeah exactly stay away from politics don't run for president you don't get to take vacation and time off. <laughs> you get to go somewhere but you're never you get to go golfing you're never really taking time off that is true quite a bit of it. George was, now watch this. <laughs> yeah, our presidents are really good golfers. Yeah, I think I started yeah. on like, you know, the president about? takes a vacation. I don't think they do yeah. take vacations, right? Man, I don't know, man. Really talking don't. about golfing, how would that be with the VR? <laughs> you Probably know what? Cool, man. <laughs> Golf on the moon? Yeah, exactly. Well, and I think that's actually, um, what is that? What is that one place called? 
Top Top Golf. Top Top Golf offers uh, VR golfing, so you can be in outer space, or you can pick different levels, go up to the spot, you know, hit it out of the, you know, hit it out of the stand, and you're on the moon hitting, you know, golf balls. So what if you're out on the golf course with your Apple Vision Pro? And then you can get feedback in real time of your shot, the distance, the height, statistics speed. in real time. That speed, yeah, it's giving you everything. You know, it's like some sort what, of app. What, but wind, wind speed, wind speed too. It like calculates how much the wind is going so, in which direction. Yeah, so it'll use like the weather app or whatever it is, right? And then yeah. visually, what if it showed you wind moving? You know, so you, you could visualize it, and then you could look at the, the golf, the green, right? you can see the elevation changes and it'll give you the ideal path for a putt shot, right? Yep. There's all sorts of things that it could do. Um, and yeah, I, just we can go back later uh, later on this topic. Just I just would like to, to mention this to you because companies like Top Golf, um, they will be better adapted yeah. to this uh, sort of business because they were really well positioned. They have a physical investment in there. Mm-hmm. And then they will provide you definitely with a better experience, especially because, you know, they have the advantage of have money well, for already, the new technology where it's very expensive, right? So, And they already have the cameras and the technology that track the ball and do all of that stuff. So if you can get that in an app that somebody with develops AI? on the goggles, and then you can read it all in real time while you're out on the course. Not they would have to have sensors shots. for the wind because the, the web app that doesn't get like in front of you. It gets gets like a region, right? But somebody at some point, maybe not this version, that could be a thing, right? Where it's like you visualize it or it, and, yeah. somebody could go and scan in golf courses and the, the topographics of it all. And then you can see, you know, how it goes up and down. And it'll, same way with F1, it'll just give you the perfect line for when you're hitting a putt shot. Um, sometimes you hit it left and it curves and goes this way. Golf's hard. But I mean, also with that, I'm sure they could calculate the wind speed based off of how much the uh, the trees or an estimation on wind speed based off of the movement of the trees, which direction the wind is coming, altitude of it. So if you hit the ball, you know, 100 feet up in the air, it, the, the wind speed right. is going to be calculated yeah. at this if point. The, if the, 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 the goggle thing has like a, some sort of barometer night vision kind of stuff, yes. you know, like a laser or whatever. It might see the wind particles. It's not be showing, but it sees it. Yeah, it can see and then it, 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 you know, it can know what the, um, know that it has the direction of the wind it is. That Look, guys, generation. I know yeah. that you mentioned something in the beginning regarding oh, there's two sides of it, right? But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the positive vibe on on this device. You know, I think with all potential it has. Every time, look, this is just the first step. Remember yeah. iPhone? I don't even remember iPhone 1. I, I can't even remember how it was. I remember 3 because I had 3 and 4. I still have it, right? 3, 4, 5, you know. Um, yeah, but, the 1 I don't remember. But what I'm saying is that, is, and this is just, and actually, I'm not sure if you should be comparing to, to cell phones. I think we should compare to something more basic because this is, this, man, this, uh, you know, like gets in the way of your bearings. You know, it's it's a completely different. Yeah, it's thing. like almost giving you tunnel vision where you can't exactly. expand. I saw a tweet about it where it was like, remember when iPhones had that app where it was like a Zippo lighter on the screen, and yeah. as you turned it, it had the you know gyrometer that would it change the flame and make it look yeah. real. And they had one if you blew, would... and then it, the, the flame would go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then it, it, you can make it look like a beer and then as you like went like this it would kind of turn and like that was revolutionary at the time everybody thought it was so cool and that was just the most basic thing nowadays you know mm-hmm. that's the stage that we're at with the goggles it's the first thing they've ever put out the first apps they're putting out we have no idea what they can build and develop off of it and well, the those... hardware might not have everything but new right. models will grow yeah. on that yeah. right. although it's a little bit advanced now because I saw a video this week because when you start talking about it uh, the algorithm picked up our voice it does. and then showed me, uh, like in the 70s, 78 or 79, uh, this engineer showing the VR and then he mentioned like VR was a huge thing that he put in his head. And then so like, let me show you like assembling this engine and then it's showing like how to do the, like a motor, yeah. right? Assembling the, you know, the engine. It was so 
cool at the time, you know. But I, I watched this this week, but that was really the infancy of these things, and then now it's much, much, you know, better and well developed. But um, just uh, to remember that he said he wouldn't, he wouldn't know what to say, right? <laughs> well, it's just because you you're using terms that it was uh, a term too that new for me. It threw yeah. off the term, but he, right. he, he knows what we're talking As about. As Corrin said, I'm, I'm old. Yeah, look, <laughs> let me tell you something. In the, uh, I just want to mention a word here and see how you guys will react to that, okay? This thing is like the Predator. Do you remember the movie? Yeah. yeah. The original and the new ones. I don't know other new ones. I, there are so many now, and I, I, got, I, I lost track. But this is what, how do you feel about that? Because we mentioned this in, in our podcast, in our. What's that group? Yeah, when you're there. so the potential for different um, usages, right? Uh, and one, I feel uh, the the perfect example is how the sensors will be able to manage all of this very soon, like the predator. Yeah, I mean, it can pick up. You can focus on something else while it's picking up other things. You know, with all those sensors. And I really think that future iterations of it might be used for military purposes it, that's my that's point what that's do. what that, you that's know? the thing you know like no one will, will run without this I, and, 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 that, and that's the thing is like the military already has certain features and goggles and, and technology like the, the special ops app <laughs> but this yeah it's all things it'll get less chunky it'll get thinner it will be closer to actual glasses at some point potentially yeah. you know that might be a hundred years i don't know but the way our technology is ramping up seems like it'd be sooner Let's drag but more speed. Even now, uh, like my our iPhones um, have LiDAR, it's like laser radar for measuring. So you could walk in and use apps and scan pinpoints of a room and make like a 3D rendering of a floor plan. If the goggles have LiDAR, you could literally walk through a house the same way you would with like a 360. They might have. They might have LiDAR because the phones do. I haven't looked into it. But imagine walking through a house and it's scanning it all and it's rendering a 3D floor plan mm -hmm. with the measurements. This wall is 13.2. This one's whatever. And then in real time, you're just computing all of that Think stuff. about the experience for the customer, right? So the customer has that. And then and then say, but how do I how do, I do that? And so you know, just press there. It's green. You know, yeah, but, touch it. Yeah. Uh, just do the two clicks on the, on the side here. So the experience, the experience for the for the uh, clients, if you have enough, you know, revenue for that, that's a I amazing. Did see you could do like home tours, like if you're buying a house, you could do yeah. like home tours and stuff. But that's why us, we bought this camera here. Yeah, you know, for so imagine having it's a, a three hundred and sixty camera. Mm -hmm. And when I was looking to buy, sorry, Dylan, okay. but it's like a lidar camera to do all the. Um, uh, the measurements and everything, it, it, it reads it uh, and then it creates a 3D image of everything uh, because it's sensors and whatnot. It's $6,000 at the time when I bought these. And it, this one was $600, like 10% of the value. But this one also does have uh, that spatial kind of thing. Um, it's not LiDAR though, but it uses a different technology. Uh, but the phones have LiDAR. so. Going in a house and doing a, a plan like that that Dylan's talking about for measurements, for example, this camera uses the image, but the iPhone uses a combination of the image and the LiDAR technology. And the phone is cheaper than the professional camera. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, for example, with this camera, I have to take in multiple pictures. With the LiDAR camera, you only need, like, you know, it's like make sure that it hits. The, uh, the continuation of the points. And this one, you have to like move a little bit, take another one, move a little bit, take another one. Yeah, you, almost it, like two or three feet. Yeah, it doesn't go as far as 15 feet. And then the LiDAR ones, you know, it goes like, you can place that at the door. Yeah. And then it reads both rooms. Well, and yeah. And a lot, I mean, for our industry too, like uh, they're using floor visualizers and loading stuff in. If you had a homeowner with the goggles, it's like, you could look at what something I want these types of countertops, I want this backsplash, I want these cabinets, I want this flooring, and then load it all in and walk through your house and get a feel of what that actually is going to look like. It's going to change the way people select things. And clothing, then, you could probably try on clothing before you go to the store. And that was going to be my next point is that we're seeing the, the fun, practical, gimmicky 
applications of Apple Vision and all of the things that it can do. We're not seeing all of the business side, the future enterprise of everything, mm -hmm. flooring, clothing, you know, all the other aspects of it that aren't being as promoted as much as, you know, these, these gimmicks are. They know? can find a way to read your measurements. You can have someone in London making you a bespoke suit. Mm -hmm. and you do all the selections and stuff virtually. Yep. I can see Second Life's and other, you know, all this, whatever products they are calling this time, these days. Uh, I can see this working now because of that. So that's why it, the revolution is not it's, the phone. Maybe it's... I think the uh, yeah. technology <laughs> keeps getting closer and closer to us, mm -hmm. you know? It's computer, then it's a phone that's in our pocket, in our hand all day long. Now mm -hmm. it's going to be on our face, on the goggles. It's, it just keeps getting more integrated into our bodies. And one right? day it's going to be on our eyes. It's just going to... If it's contact lenses yeah. or something. Well, or it's going to be Neuralink. Well, you know, link. A Neuralink, yeah. and then our eyes are already do <laughs> And I'm watching this sci-fi bullshit from uh, YouTube originals. Yeah. Yeah. Called Origin. Have you heard about it? Okay. Uh -uh. So it's a, it's a the closed future. Anyway, so uh, everything, they all have a plug here, right here. They all have a plug in, mm -hmm. you know, that works to, you know, like to, to get information, new information, to, to exchange. Um, it's L, it's right here. Yeah. So definitely, if you watch it, um, you know, like a black mirror too, everything's yeah. in the brain, right? Every, basically everything's in the brain or it's like something, you know, like apocalyptical, right? But definitely, yeah, so... Um, what concerns me about that is, like, hackers and stuff. Like, once it's actually integrated into your body and then someone controls it, then what, you know? Yeah. When they just steal data and information, or is there a way where it's actually controlling stimulation of your eyes and stuff, you know? Like, could you hack in there and cause someone excruciating pain? Crucio, you know? Like, there's... It, it gets sci-fi weird, scary um, really quick. <laughs> Have That's a very ever, good point. That's have really you ever realized that the more control you have, the more it goes to one place and it's much easier to replace that? I mean, it's much harder to, to replace it, but when you do, I'm reliant. you do it everything. Yeah. Right? So uh, this is why there are different cells, mm -hmm. you know, for, so that one thing controls everything, right? Yeah. But it's still, we're going to have competition, right? So very yeah, soon. Yeah, monopoly. Yeah, very soon, you know, Apple is gonna get, he's gonna face some competition. Face Stamp some comp yeah. well, I'm sure they yeah, have some like, sort of like copyright on it or whatever, but that will only Chinese? last for so yeah. long, right? It's like when um, when iPhones first came out, they were partnered with AT and T. So the only way to get an iPhone was with AT and T. Right. They could only have that for so long, and then when that dropped and everybody got iPhones on the market, it hit Verizon and T-Mobile. That's when you started to see iPhones everywhere. I used to sell at Verizon and every customer came in is like how, how good is this Blackberry Storm oh it's just as good as the, the <laughs> iPhone and they would walk out and they'd be like this phone is a piece of shit <laughs> like it is just like you can't compare anything to the iPhone and stuff but I never had a Blackberry but I always wanted one before iPhone well and it had its own appeal because it was very good it was very streamlined for emails and that's why the government used it because that keyboard yeah it had the keyboard it had the trackball it was it was more business orientated but as soon as people were like wait i can get my business emails on my iphone and it and the touchscreen operates really well yeah that's I'll the thing home. a bad touchscreen ruins an experience so when they started figuring out that touchscreen technology like now it's so you don't even think about it anymore. there is a dvc there's a film I talked that? about the the Blackberry, everything that happened from the beginning to the end. Oh, that's on yeah. Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I yeah, haven't exactly. watched it, but I saw the trailer. Yeah, my it. wife watched it. Yeah. The other thing that also uh, it was very like a borderline of that created a lot of users for the Samsung and Android is that uh, just like swipe your fingers and then it writes yeah. for you, right? Swipe texting. Yes. Yeah. And then now the iPhone has it now because has you know the their Probably, copyright or whatever yeah, expired. Expired, and then you know it has it, and it's it's the best thing ever because it corrects automatically the text the text for you. I yeah. use it every day. Swipe yeah. texting. And yeah, I, yeah. I only use it. Yep. So I don't use anything else. So. You know what I don't use enough that actually works really well now is just the speech to text. 
I, I do that all Carol time. uses all. I that's use all, all she uses. Really? Really? Use it works so really? much better than all it time. used to. And it yeah. used to get words wrong every sentence, and now it's like it is so good. It doesn't matter if you have an accent or not. It picks up I use on it your with words. Bard? Oh, I, I, I yeah. use it with Bard? Bard. Yeah, I use it with all of them. Right, the WhatsApp because yeah. you can it's use easier. it in every single platform. We just have to, you know, you could even upload or whatever. Connect the keyboard yeah, shortcut. So, uh, yeah. It just saves so much time because I don't want to send audios too much and I want to send you videos, send you know, audio. unless it's cool. Like the, the I have a reason. still got to teach me that. Yeah. <laughs> I have a reason why I don't use it because um, I talk and text to a lot of people in different languages. Yes. Uh, so, uh, and I just go on the swipe thing. Because Is that a just, flex? Was was helping me like yeah, no multiple. Language. I'm bilingual. Yeah, yeah. Trilingual. Oh <laughs> yeah. Polyglot. <laughs> and I, I go, <laughs> I go like Portuguese, and then if I speak to it, and then he writes something completely nothing to do with it, uh, and Spanish the same thing, and then you know English, and then it gets it right. I mean, it only gets it right when I speak English to it. So it, th this is still man. one step of recognizing the language you're speaking. You know, the same person and uh, speaking different languages. Language. Yeah. So because it doesn't do that automatically yet. And then I would have to go select the keyboard. But, you know, with the swipe thing, even if the keyboard is English and I s start swiping it in Portuguese and it picks it up. It if I it, it try, if I swap, um, um, swap text it in Spanish, it picks it up. Oh, that's um, really cool. Yeah. So I was going to do like kind of a round table. What are some of the benefits? And then we'll get into drawbacks that we can foresee of this apple vision so i'll start with you dylan benefits no no, yeah. no don't start with him last time you start with him and we didn't have any comment to do anymore okay forget dylan george what do you <laughs> i'll sit this round out <laughs> no, no, <it's> <laughs> i've seen as i said i am in the positive side of this so i can see i mean i spend days thinking how i would use it um in order to possibly justify if I could buy it. And no matter how much I, you know, I, I how many advantages I saw it, I don't see it paying me 3,500 or, or as we said, $5,000. Yeah, right it's right? too much right now. Um, so I can I can see that being used for education. I think you that can- That was mine. You can, it. Yes, no, yeah, I mean, uh, you can, uh, <laughs> we can explore different angles here, but uh, right. I can see it. Uh, Think about all the institutions that we saw we discussed uh, via WhatsApp uh, this week to that how you know college are not teaching exactly what they should te be teaching. So I I'm I feel sorry for the for a lot of those 600 700 year um, um, uh, institutions you know because oh, yes. it's gone. The way we see education is gone. Um, what worries me, and that is the drawback, it's also in education, the gap between the ones who can get this and get things faster. And then it's even harder to catch them in every single evolution in technology. So the, so I, I would like to see it cheaper, more affordable, so every more people could benefit from that. So I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to just increase this gap. That's my drawback. Okay. It's a good... Good, but good benefits and good drawbacks to it. There is a financing option. Yes. It's like 200 something a month, but if you used it for work or had a justifiable reason, at least you wouldn't drop five grand all at once, but it is way too expensive right now, but it's so new. Right. I think the, the industry that's gonna start using very heavily is gonna be the porn industry because they are the ones that start using it. So is that so, your good benefit or yeah, it's, it's a drawback? Just making a point of it. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's Oh, good there's a not. third line here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're playing by I, your own rules. I, I think it. this is uh, the, the non-beneficial <laughs> side of it lines. because it's going to make people not really wanting to go out and, and find uh, relationships. I think it could be a drawback. Hey, that's that's a very... That is something that is very true. Because they, they, the industry will explore that to the extreme. Yeah. Um, Squeeze you like a lemon. 
<laughs> I, I think so. I think so. Um, no, that is a very good point. Yeah, that is a very good point. So, and then the, the, bene- the benefits, um, and I, I believe it's the as Dylan was mentioning, like the you know, companies being able to provide um, new level of service, new levels of service, like you know, pe- people that are a little bit confused, um, they don't know what the color of the walls they're gonna pick. They don't know because um, they're not gonna be wearing that all the time, right? So, right. but. One day, maybe one day, but it, it <laughs> might be in three hundred years. Uh, we don't know. No, no, no. I, 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 just... I get what you mean. Like, what if the builders or whoever you're buying through are the ones who had it? And when you go to do like your selection phase, you put it on, and then it loads you into your floor plan. Because then... I, I can share with you, you know, like think about the experience again. If yeah. there is an economical gain here, it's a no-brainer yeah. to invest in this. Yeah. Right now, I don't see how there couldn't be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Other than just the lack of apps that are probably readily available at this moment, mm-hmm. but they're gonna probably every month there's gonna be stuff put out, new stuff. But I think this is gonna be very beneficial for for that, for helping people not wasting a lot of time on on selections and, and things that they need to select. You know what I mean? It, yeah. It's like we find people that are coming here i'm just using the flooring as an example because that's our industry and that is how we we see it we see customers coming in here i work in light color yeah i like that 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 let's do that one it's rare but it happens but you know most of the time it takes about two or three iterations going to their house with samples they see on their own lighting they see against the color of their walls and these things Imagine if that is done in one iteration. You go to the house with the goggle, they put it on, uh, and you're already thinking about your floors. Uh, I'm thinking about this one, and then you just click on that one, and then got one populates. And then I'm thinking, no, it doesn't look right you know, against my cabinet, so populates this one. That one actually looks great. This is my dream floor. Okay, selection done. Uh, it's gonna cost you this much. Uh, do you wanna run the payment right now? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's much faster. The person doesn't waste a lot of time selecting their own floor. Our time is fine because our time is like we're there to sell. Sale after yeah. Sale so after. whatever time yeah. that the customer needs, we will accommodate for that. But also that will free time for the business as well in order to be able to sell a bit more, for example. Right. So as, as a business uh, perspective, I think that would help a lot. Save time and money, right? Like buyer's remorse. You might think you like something, but you're seeing a sample of it. And then once it's in your house, you're like, man, I wish it would have gone with the darker. But it was, like, I just spent 20 grand on the floor. I can't replace it. So when you're able to really visualize it like that, it's you saving you money too. Think yeah. about this. Let's say that he's selling there, okay? But the, or you're selling. And then the client, you're just about to close the deal. And then you say, hey, Elton, just... Uh, That's a question maybe. Put it, no, no, no. Just you, you you go there and you put it. And then he will, whatever, put it here. He will see what you're seeing. Yeah. The way you're seeing. Not a camera. Like, you'll yeah. be the true experience of being as a person. First person. Not like a video uh, with a device. It is a, still a device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So, for example, the customer has it. And exactly. then you, you can, you know, the, the, the question is like, do you have the ProVision thing? Oh, I do. So, okay, put that on and I'll, I'll send you some uh, flooring options. And then you're just like, from here, yes. you send to the That's customer right. at home. Either that or it's gonna revolutionize FaceTime. Remember how FaceTime, I mean, being able to talk to somebody from any part of the world, just putting it on, imagine you flipping it and, and turning that on and like, where are you right now? Oh. I'm at the Grand Canyon, or I'm at Niagara Falls, or I'm in, I'm at the beach. Just connected. share this experience. Let me share my experience with you. You see exactly what I'm doing right now. You're living through my experience of what's happening right now at this moment. Mm-hmm. That's going to take FaceTime. Do Do you want to see my face? I could take it off. I can FaceTime you normally. Or do you want to see what I'm do seeing right now? Do you want to they be, can you want see your be face. me now? Yeah. <laughs> but they can see your face. Yeah, that's they, because they, it reads. Oh, it. because it does do yeah, that reading. You do a scan. Yeah, it they does see scan. like an animated version of you. Know? Right, but that's going to get more and more realistic. It's very realistic already. Yeah. So. Yeah. Sorry, your uh, benefits and drawbacks of the Apple Vision. 
Um, benefits, I think experiences are going to become more readily available. Um, for example, like the Super Bowl, everybody knows the tickets entry level are like $8,000. But what if you, you pay like 40 bucks and you get like a suite and you're watching it from a suite at the Super Bowl or, you know, you go, it could take you places. And then connection, we see it on YouTube already. I watch videos in Portuguese. Uh, Brazilian comedians and in real time YouTube's translating it in English for me in subtitles. Well, they have that in the goggles, so I can have a conversation with you. You're speaking a different language, and it's showing me subtitles in English of what you're saying. Well, right. no, you you might be hearing in English at some point, but at right now point, it does yeah. subtitles. Like yes. as of right now, it's doing that. Mm -hmm. It will probably turn into that. Um, so I just think it's going to find an, another way of connection and bridge another barrier of gap of a language gap and understanding. Um, but one of the drawbacks, I think it was probably one that everybody would think of, is just the screen time issue. We already have a lot of people with yes. ADHD, ADD issues where at work we're on a computer and then we're on our phone. At home we're on our phone, we're watching TV. It's all this screen time. We watch TikTok and they got the infinite scroll. So you just, you end up sucked into it for two hours. Or what if it's just right here? You sit on your couch and it feels like 30 minutes. You've been scrolling on something for... Hours. four hours you know like gta you played for 12 hours you know you didn't know it's going to be so immersive that it's not really their responsibility in my opinion to make you to get off but it'd be maybe a feature that kind of pops up like hey it's been 30 minutes or something that you could elect the same way like on your phone you can choose to put it in like do not disturb or different modes that remind you how long your screen time is there a way back though no no i just think that's why I, we have to mitigate the use of it. Or if everybody's doing it, then it's just gonna change the way we interact with each other. Have you read or watched the movie? I, I just started watching the movie. I haven't I haven't watched it all the way through, but uh, I read both books. Ready Player One and Ready Player Two. Oh like the first one. Yeah. The first the only movie. Okay. The book is fantastic. Is the, the the book is phenomenal. Um uh, but for anybody out there that hasn't watched or, or read the book, it's about in the future, it's a dystopian world. Everyone lives in conics boxes or RVs in there. They're called the stacks. You live like 15 houses or apartments yeah. on top of each other. And um, you have your super poor and then your super rich, but you put on your goggles and you're taken into the oasis. And there you can be any character that you want. You can live at any of these worlds. You have your own credit system with mo actual money, and it creates its own. The government interacts with it, so the world be able to. Yeah, so the world, the actual physical world, mm -hmm. is actually in virtual reality world. So that's the governance of the United States is you know the, you know the highest GDP of the world because. It has, you know, the population of it is, you know, performing these type of help desk or, the, you, you know, they, anyways, mm -hmm. that is where I feel like, because we're saying if everyone hops on board with this, I really think that's going to be some type of future for the world is that we're going to be missing out of this person to person interaction. It's going to be, hey, Hilton. I so that's your drawback. Okay. That's my drawback. Hey, Hilton, guys, I can't make it to the podcast today. I'll just uh, be with you guys on the Vision Pro, and then, I mean, we won't be here. But it's still interaction. You may not have it's just kind of interaction. Change. It is interaction. It is, interaction. So it is an interaction, true. But the thing is, like, after we hit stop on this, do we not still talk? Do we still not, like, hey, let's do this, this, and this? Normally you go home. Okay. And then we stay here talking just about it. Okay. Um, make an analogy. Um, maybe it's the only way that I can exp explain that. But think about this: when we start sending emails, right? So compare how much people wrote before emails. I would put emails as internet, and then you can. And before that, we write one thousand times more. Right. One thousand times more. We make more mistakes, but the level, the ev the he revolution that we had. When people start communicating with others through text, now through, through any ways we can communicate, try to imagine how it was before the email, because the email, you know, as a, as a mark. We are talking about 40 years. Yeah. I think this device will also create all the problems we have with emails and everything we internet. 
we we have to deal with that but i don't i don't see a way back and i'll tell you the more i see this happening the more i see us guys like us not wearing it because this is why we are here yeah because we, we, we made a it, choice we, to be here yeah so that we are not do you here. know what i'm saying like yeah, we could be here on zoom right now if we wanted to but yeah. we could but we decided to be here right you see so we made a conscious decision and that's what i'm saying is like I but think they, what is the benefit then so the benefit and and it's kind of sharing because i mean you're you're looking at revolutionizing education changing and revolutionize like entertainment forms of entertainment as we see it my biggest thing is education and i really think it's going to bridge a lot of socio-economic dis this disparities mm -hmm. of education because imagine and as soon as it becomes a little bit or well once it becomes cheaper governments are able to buy a lot to share to students and, and make them readily available even if you go into a university and i'm just going to use like mechanics like uh, mit or um or the like trucking industry where you where they teach you to be a mechanic or a welder can you imagine where you have <clears throat> hands-on experience you have a piece of metal or you have a you know an engine in front of you and the goggles are reading like okay the timing's off a little bit on this on this engine you can hear that clicking why don't you take the distributor cap or or just change the timing belt a little bit like it's going to be diagnosing and assisting you and helping you become and teaching you to be a, a you know a world-class mechanic or like we were saying carpentry installation you know oh that corner is wrong and that's because you know the angle of it is you know 40 47 and a half degrees instead of 45 where i cut it okay now i need to go back and measure it and it's already you may not even need to go back because when before they start doing it so yeah uh, 44 uh, 45 and yeah. then you hit right it. but i would yeah. argue that it's not gonna you, you'll learn with it, but you'll probably never get to the point where you don't want to use the goggles because you're a master, whatever. I think even the master is like, I'm, it's a crutch. Right. Yes. Yeah. And and that's, but I almost feel like it'll assist you to a point where if the thing dies, if it breaks and it's like, okay, well, what are you going to do? You're going to have to do it naturally. You can go you know. like, and then you know, you've been doing it long enough. I, I just think that there's certain tools and applications that, uh, Education-wise, this is going to be huge for people that don't want to get into a workforce academic-wise. They don't want to be programmers. They don't want to be this, this, and this. They're, I want to be a carpenter. I want to be a, a mechanic. I want to be, you know, get into the in uh, the industrial industry as opposed to, you know, white-collar uh, jobs, be a blue-collar job. I mean, this those is, will probably become more valuable as we get into more of this tech stuff because you'll have less people doing that. Yeah. So exactly. those jobs will pay more. Yeah. yeah. And, and just to remind you guys that we haven't uh, uh, we haven't addressed two other topics, right? Which is medicine. Sure. And sports. We can see that all the commercials are focused more on entertainment. Yeah. Right. So uh, good news for all of us who can consume that right but notice that these other two areas also will be affected think about your experience with as you mentioned in american football sure think about that think, think the the way you want to do let's say i have a party and then you guys once want to go to my place okay but you all have this and then you say hey um for, let's say that you have a problem with volume Right, so you adjust. You're gonna adjust your, your 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 provision when you get to the place. There is a there is song, there is music there, but you, it will adjust because it's gonna be in your ears, it's gonna be everywhere. Right, right. So and then look, it's not gonna bother you. And then if you do want to see, you know, if you want to create, a, you are the like the host. You create ten scenarios, this different scenarios, and then you will see my creativity. So I can see that as an experience can be something. Um, nothing, nothing that I want to do every single day, but once in a while, it's going to be great. I would do that right now. I would do that. So, and I guess to kind of maybe wrap up this topic, the ultimate question, $3,500 price tag, you know, plus tax, you're looking at four grand. 
would you buy this or would you sit this one out until it becomes a little bit cheaper? George. How much money am I making? Your current your current status. No chits. Nope. Hilton? You puff. <laughs> well, and as I puff, you can hit that subscribe button. <laughs> subscribe and like. Comment. Comments, please. Well, uh, looking at after this conversation, I'm thinking, what if we we get it for the business, and we can make it work, you know, with with selections and stuff. Could you use it as a tax write off, almost like a business expense? Well, if it is part of the business, yes. Well, right. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking, and I I don't know because uh, I will potentially start investigating on that, yeah. and you know, the companies that starts that first might have a. Uh, a little bit of an advantage to start Fresh with, start, yeah, yeah. Uh, at least. And but I, I you know, I, um, just before you go, we go around. Uh, I want to go back to that topic that um, you know quite quickly on what George mentioned regarding uh, the emails and stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, before we used to write, write letters, and then you send a letter, and then it would take one or two weeks for the letter to get there. A person reads it and then sits down to write it back to you, and then send it back. So and then the communication that it happened in a month. Right, and now it's just like email, and then goes and, and it comes it. back. And before right. you'd have what, fifteen friends, you know, in your street, and then with the email, and then you start having like one hundred and fifty friends, and then with social media, and then you reconnect with all your friends, you know, from the elementary school, and you you, you went together. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. people who sees whatever you post and likes it, invites you, and no, that's an extra. Yeah. That's an yeah. extra. That's after that. And then now, and then you became, you know, friends with your friends again. Yeah. And then now, your you group lost of friends. Connection, you moved. Yeah, your group now of friends, friends now is 600, 700 people. Like, you know what I mean? Back yeah. Together with family and whatnot, right? right? And then you get to the another level where you start sharing things, uh, uh, um, the video, and, and not only photo and, 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 and text. Now you have video and whatnot and communication like with FaceTime and so and then you expand on that, and then now you have a thousand and uh, you know, eleven hundred friends with these uh, new technology. Yeah, that is the other side that um, you you do right a little bit wrong because you have uh, the uh, auto correct, but you also get more interaction with people, more friends. You have more friends. You know what I mean? So these. Also, it will probably be another jump. And the evolution of these will be another jump. And then now your normal networking of group that you communicate and people see stuff, it's not a thousand people anymore. It's 5,000. You, know I mean? you go like from the 70s having yeah. like 15 friends, you know, to 5,000, you know, 60, 70 years down the line. So it's a huge jump you know in evolution i agree so it's not I, I like to see things on the good side so that's uh, yeah i like to see the the half uh, uh the glass half full and not half empty so I, I think it could be in a good thing and then so thinking about it for the business could potentially be a good thing so it, it's <clears> maybe <throat> it's maybe for hilton if it's business viable business applicable yeah what about yeah, you, Dylan? Uh, no, I think at the price point it's at now, as George mentioned, I think it's all really catered towards more of an entertainment aspect right now. I do see the upside and I see where it can go, um, but there's not enough upside currently that would justify me to spend that much because I would just be using it for fun. It wouldn't be productive. Um, so no, not at this time, um, but I can see it being something I'd be interested in as it gets more affordable or it does more and it's like yeah it makes sense you know what's your opinion uh, I'm torn because there's a part of me that wants to look at it as, as a business investment and just buy it keep it in his box and just leave it in the closet never touch it in like in 20 25 years sell it, sell it on eBay for a million dollars wow you know yeah. Yeah. Gen yes. one never opened. It's been sitting in my closet. It's never been touched. 
who wants it? It's not a bad idea, thing. actually. Yeah, like some type of. We never know. Like, you never know. Like my stage, iPhone but... three. Yeah, like your i. Yeah, <laughs> my I'm, MacBook two thousand three. Yeah. I'm sure there's some crazy person oh, yeah. out there that's like, oh, it brings back nostalgia for me. Yeah. Here's five. It's original. Five Everything grand. original. Yeah. It might not even be crazy. It might just be a collector that's also looking like, oh, I'm buying this for a million dollars and it's going to be valued mm. 10 yeah. million. Exactly. <laughs> then, exactly. Have, like, but you wouldn't even touch it. No. You wouldn't even touch no. it. No. So, and that's, collection. so, so, and I think that goes for, for my, yeah. for my perspective of it is like, if I'm looking at this as a buy, it's just purely investment to stay in my closet for 20, 25 years and then sell it down in the future. If I was to u buy it and use it, no, not now. For the price point and to me it seems... Limitations. Like yeah, that. there's a lot of limitations until they start really pumping out some of the, the applications that would interest me and bring it down the price point, I'd, I'd, I'd buy do you, it. Do you see how... If you make money, you just make money because let's say if you already have money, I would buy two, right? right. I would buy one to use it and one, one for my collection. So think about that vintage if, if a person money can in. afford it. Oh, yeah. That's the yeah really, I have two. I just put two in there. It's the yeah. only barrier that's right it. now. It's just the cost. That's the only barrier. It, exactly. So we are thinking about 3500 We can buy. Yeah. yeah, we can we can afford it. Like it's twenty four months to pay, I think. Right? Yeah, it's like two sixty a month or something. Yeah, for, right. Yeah. So five 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 percent cash back, whatever. Sure. I can pay it. Put it on a credit card. Making money even, yeah. in a currency that is five times weaker than dollar, I can still pay it. But I won't. No. I won't. If but it's the, business, I agree with you. Like if I see, look, if I see tomorrow, hey George, there will be a way for you to have. To be four times more productive. I mean, you're going to be working the same number of hours, but with four clients at the same time. I would buy now, you know, because I can't. Because yeah. then, man, it might not be one far away sale, from that. huh? It might not be far away from that. Yes, yeah, but I want to see it. That, as I mentioned, I feel it. It's a, it's too focused on entertainment right now. Right, I agree. Made yeah. on purpose. Made yeah, on purpose. That's right. That's the, the they're really attracting exactly. you to it right now. Because think about if we are discussing military, education, medicine, think about what every single different profession in the world are thinking how they can. They, yeah, it's not only it was, you know, like we're mission six or seven here. Yeah. But think about our iPhones currently. How many features we've just been like, oh, I, I can do that on my iPhone. I didn't know that. That's going to save me so much time. Right. iPhone, all, a lot of, uh, all, I don't want to say all, but. A vast majority, if not all, technological devices are first catered as entertainment to bring you in, mm -hmm. and then the business practical life applications are always sold, or you find out about it later. Well, let me let me tell I you one thing, wanna, man. I wouldn't even get get into that because this is even a bigger subject. Yeah, no, no I know, I know. <laughs> no, but but it, but it is it is what it is, right? So yeah. let me let me ask you this question: When the first iPhone came out, uh, how much was that? <laughs> Got it. Oh, oh, I thought what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> when the first iPhone came out, came out. Uh, how much? How much was that? Two thousand seven. I know it was. 2008 actually was launching, right? Okay, so let's put that on. So right? the computer says uh, that uh, we just sorted in here. Uh, it started at $500 and adjusted the inflation 733. And how much is an iPhone today? It's 1400. Now, right. for the comparison, the recently Jeez. iPhone 15 starts at 800. I think that's a common misconception. Everybody goes to the Pro Max, the best version of the yeah, iPhone yeah. is 1200. The entry level is eight. So, so it's actually not that far off from. So it's the same price, right? So I'm. Let me tell you, it's gonna be three and a half thousand dollars forever. That's so if you buy it now, or if you buy in five years time, it's still gonna be around that same price. Three and a half thousand dollars. So if you don't see value now, it's the same as if you, you know. Well, yeah. it's just because you don't know enough about it. Yeah. The price is not gonna go down. The difference is, you know, <laughs> seven thirty three then got you an iPhone that didn't do a quarter of the things that the $800 does for you now. Well, yes, but that iPhone the at the time did more than any other phone that would ever do anything. Else. Right. But you so would the, think the it VR, would have doubled though, right? 
Well, it more than doubled. <clears throat> but, but the price of it, the problem is kind of, the, the when you have the scale and competition, insane. it's a f two That's forces that, 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 you know, like. But you would expect it with all the things that it can do now. Yes. Versus I then see. you would expect 1400 Everyone does expect 1400 yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. $800. It's, it's $70 more, but it does. 500 yeah. times 500 more. times I more. remember my Mac. And you will see more value. My 2005 Mac. Price. Yeah. My 2005 Mac was 3,500 highs, right? Which would be like $700 at the time, right? So in, which was would be similar to what it is now, right? So it's $1,000. So yeah, I paid 2,000 for my computer, but I know that I'm gonna, I know that the, I'm gonna sell it way more expensive if I sell in Brazil or if I sell it here, True. I'm gonna get 1500 back here in the US. Yeah. Right. So for $500, you update it to a brand new M3 yeah. computer, you know? So um, I think scale is a force that goes against that force that you say, oh, it's offering so much more, but there is so much you can charge because the competition from so many different um, places, you know, if it's, you see the market grows, you have to share that, you either, sell only the expensive ones to everyone 100 percent which is very hard or, we, or you have to adapt it yeah but my point is like no, nowadays uh it does more than you ever thought that it could do yes yeah in the future in five years time it's going to be doing more than you ever think that you can use yeah. it for right. yeah it is still you're going to be paying you know three and a half thousand dollars plus tax right on, on the base model and it's going to deliver more than you can ever use it for. Right. You know what I mean? It's the same as the first iPhone. It's just like the necessities of the original one. You didn't ever know that you need LiDAR. Well, you I was know, just to about with. to say, I bet even then it did more than you actually needed it to do. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we've become more dependent on the things that it can do until it does more. And then we start utilizing more of the phone. And you, How many of us use the full potential of our phone every day? Never. 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 We don't. But when 2%. new ones come out, we're like, oh, let's buy a new one. It can do more. I don't yeah. even use all the capabilities of mine now. Yep. That's we and capitalism and consumers are greedy with the things that we want. We want more. We want more. We don't even use it all. Yeah, we discussed a little bit about like buying it and using it. I don't know. There was a, um, a post like a, a, on a, a news magazine or whatever it was, right? That is like buy it and use it in your house in your room mm -hmm. then don't don't use that in public like people are yes. using it but i i i think it's it's like you buy it and use it as the way whatever you want to use it for if i had a because it allows you to you know that man i would brag about it <laughs> and, and that's that's the I thing that also I, I, I wouldn't show everyone yeah, because it's, you can do that right Jeez. but uh, <laughs> yeah right yeah, okay. yeah yeah but you know what i'm saying like um Part of the 3,500, part of the 3,500 is that you're, you're going to show, you're going to show off. I mean, and that part with it's what, it's exactly what throw me off. You know, um, I refuse to pay to show off. Well, but that's, but, uh, but also showing off, I think is also one of the downsides. Can you imagine where you're like, you're looking around and, and I mean, the, the Vision Pro is telling you, oh, this is the Empire State Building, or oh, this building was built in this, this, and this. Someone just comes up and goes, yank, it's mine, bitch, and runs off with it. That'll happen. And, and that's what I'm, and that's what I think Apple's also foreseen is that you're going to see people walking around with $3,500 investment over their eyes, not paying attention to their surroundings. Someone come up right behind them. Man, let me know, Thanks, you know man. what. <laughs> They do with the phones, you know, they're talking on your phone and then people grab it from I'll tell you an experience that was in Sao Paulo five, four months ago. And man, I am like obsessed about safety when I go to Brazil, okay? I'm obsessed. So, Pamidas and I, we have an iPhone 13, right? So, I'm going to keep it here. I'm not, we only took one phone because we want to make sure that we would have another phone. And then as I was walking, I was, I don't know if you remember, you know, like as I was walking, I saw that I'm, I swear people sleeping on the floor, they would have iPhone 12s. Really? Like super scary people coming in our directions, iPhone 14 and four, iPhone 13. They don't want your 13. <laughs> they have a 15. And then I, fe yeah. I, I, I felt it like, bro, 
I'm sorry. I saw. I really felt that after well, we walked for I don't know one hour. Yeah. But I really felt that when I was there. You know, I what? <laughs> so um, it's part of life now. So and I can do that on Ma in Manhattan. Life. Yeah. I think in Manhattan you see that. I think, but that's well, what, and I think that's it. Is because it's so new. I think it's going to be more commonplace for for stealing and grabbing now because it's not as common. But in the future, you're right, Hilton and everyone. I think. And we were talking about like last year, you know, from uh, 2007 to you know 2023, it's been 16 years, right? And then everybody has it, like you know, even like you know, somebody was, doesn't have a house, but they have you know, a, you know, a phone. You end up. It with, could have been stolen from somebody. I'm not saying that just, they did, but you know, they, oh, you don't know. They, they bought it at cheap. Could have been. <clears throat> but that, and there'll be like the FOMO factor, the fear of missing out when everybody starts getting it. And you're the only one that doesn't have it, then. You start to see more value in it, but security. When the first iPhone came out, it was slide to unlock. That was the feature. There was no passcode. There was no touch ID. There was no face ID. So if your phone got nabbed, someone else's phone. Then they started doing things where if your phone got stolen, you could shut it down. Like the new ones now, you can shut it down and make it like inoperable. And like the only way to reset it is plugging it in somewhere. And if you report it as stolen, like the iPhone just can't be used. So. Maybe they integrate some sort of security. Like when it's taken from you, and someone steals it, at that point it's just to be a dick because it won't, you can make it to where it's not even it's just a paperweight. And if you steal it, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But that they'll integrate security. And our uh, retina, right? Uh, we, it's it's a unique print. It's yep. the same as the fingerprint. Th yeah, the fingerprint. So if it is another eye, it doesn't work. You know, it's, if you set it up. Uh, yeah. So and, and I don't know if somebody that now, but they could. Based on what our friend said here. I want I want to do a challenge a challenge with you three that's gonna last seventeen years. In twenty forty one, no matter where we are, we're gonna to talk to each other and we're gonna remember the launching of this product you see. Remember that we compared two thousand seven to two thousand uh twenty four. Yeah. So we got to twenty forty one guys. Yeah. I don't care where you guys are gonna be, probably I won't be online anymore. You know, it's a trend, you know, but it will be right there. I would we'll like to, meta, right? I would like to have this. I would like to have this, the same conversation, all of us, you know, like together, no matter where we are. Yeah. But that sparks of the, cause I clearly remember y'all don't probably a little bit of the age. I do remember the first iPhone coming out. Cause I remember my cousins getting one and like the new technology. Think about your kids. They're getting this technology at seven and 10 years old. What happens when they're our age and your age? Like, they're growing up with this technology, so they're gonna pick it up so fast, all the things that you can do with it. It's just gonna take off. My daughter would walk up to the TV and she would try to swipe it to change channels. Yes. And she was two years old. I no, the that. TV doesn't do that, baby. <laughs> I catch myself, and I'll be completely honest, and you guys can laugh at me for it, but I'll look at old pictures and I'll start going like this because I want to see what I'm trying, to zoom, I'm trying to zoom in on like on yes. like a small detail yes. and it's like a picture and I'm like what the fuck it's am a I printed. doing it's a, it's print a printed yeah. actual like physical yeah. picture and I'm going like this and I'm like oh wait, what look. am I doing but it's so instinctual it's so reactional and so so true because the Midas's screens are touch mine is not uh -huh. so right. I don't have that and she her, her first instinct is to go because her screens can are touched. Yeah, know? like she's got the mouse there. She's got everything. But for me, I use it. I don't use. I, I don't like using the mouse. I, I use the computer. Yeah. Um, keyboard. That. You know, like I have it. Everything. You know, I. I you I have, have it, it right to, you, to you. I have it right me right right away. But I prefer always operating there because yeah. I think it's faster. So I probably I would be very I'll be okay with using my hands. Right. Because we haven't even talked about that, right? So this weird, it's going to be weird. Hand hands, control hands on the streets, yeah. people using hands as com as commands. Yeah. I, I'm curious about that. So It's going to become normal. You're going to see people and it's going to become, it's going to be normal. Oh, okay. So it's the same as when we see, you know, people doing like that on the phone. It's like, okay. So just going, you know, scrolling. There is scrolling. Yeah. Yeah. Right now it's weird because we haven't seen There it, is one thing that is creeper. Do you, I, I, I still, I can't get used to is people walking on the street and they are talking because airpods or something <laughs> I, I, that's not I, just you because i find myself in a grocery shopping and i'm talking and people are always looking at me are you talking to me like, i'm on the phone you know yes yeah 
it's weird. It's yeah. weird. So think about this, man. <laughs> think about you got eyes. Do you want eyes? No, I'm okay. I'm just. Yeah, and this is just Apple. What happens when Samsung comes out with something? And there will be competition. Maybe BlackBerry's back. Yeah, you don't. Uh, you don't know. I, I, I man, I would Android. try to support them. I would buy their stocks. Yeah. You know, I would. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They would have to really come out with some that wows you, like interactive email. I haven't mentioned video games. Think about the revolution in video games. Who was it that sent the video? And maybe it wasn't somebody, but I or I saw a video. I'm excited about I think this topic, on, man. I think on IGN, and they were showcasing. Uh, they were showcasing a walkthrough of a video game, but it wasn't. It it was using the Unreal Five engine. Mm-hmm. Spatial computing and yeah. AI. So basically, AI generated using Unreal Five Engine to Jesus make hyper realistic. And I and I swear to you, it, it was them walking through like the Amazon jungle. And I swear to God, it was so photo realistic that I'm going. This is this is not this is the future of video gaming because. It's it's so realistic. Like so, there's no differentiating between real and fake at that point. When game apps started implementing like the geotagging, geocaching, like Pokemon Go, or you, yeah. you take it into the world, but it's still on your phone. Imagine Hogwarts Legacy, but you're walking through the Hogwarts castle, and the way you said in the game, sometimes you just want to explore. Yeah, you're, yeah. Like, you're not exploring through your TV screen or monitor; it's your goggles, and like you can. Where you'll just have to find a way to find enough space to walk through all of that, you know? Right. Do you see that Disney has installed that in the well, like? Yeah, and yeah. it moves. It, it moves as you go. You are, as you go, it moves. Then it goes oh, back to yeah, the yeah, side. Yeah, so yeah. It's so it's far, like a, it's yeah, small. Yeah, it's yeah, almost like it's a, a tread, kind of yeah, yeah kind of like, like a treadmill. Yeah. But, but I can see. Moving. I can see ranks. The you know like spaces the size of the ranks, and then you have people just using Man. that. You can go for a run. In your house and run through the Grand Canyon and change your view. Go to the Amazon. Yeah. And it's telling you up in the corner up here your mile time and lap tracks. Imagine playing racquetball with it and it's tracking the ball for you and it's Dude, keeping be score for you. Calculating, cal- calculating. calculating. Like a jaguar or something. Yeah. No, because the. the uh, and then one step back later. Racquetballs will be the only thing that won't be untrackable because it's the most unpredictable ball ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most, said, seriously, if you go, if you check, if you, <laughs> if you go, I will tell you, I will tell you, I, I just went, because uh, I was, I want to post, because we played it, I want to post it. And I went to memes, right? Man, I've seen like thousands of memes. Everything has to do with the unpredictability of the ball. Right. So that's the only that's thing one. that won't be caught. That's right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Racket. Well, I don't know. Maybe someone developed. Imagine being able to watch yourself back the, the session that you just played. And then like, oh, I could have done this differently. It's just going to change everything. Yeah. That's just what we can think of right now. Exactly. That's yeah. what I say. Think about all the professions. For example, a friend of mine works for a... Um, Automation company, and he he's got he's got not a, a, just the glasses, and he he has the model of how that job yeah. must be performed to avoid, you know, like lesions in the back. Mm. So and then he sees with the glasses how the guy is doing, it. and every time the guys move, the guy moves, it goes outside of the the the, the shape that it should be done. Later they uh, analyze the. Um, the, the data and they say hey hey don't for, don't don't use your knee like that use your knee like this so that could prevent lesions uh, injuries in the future so they already use that right think about with the glass we have a, a kind of a I don't know uh, an inspector that goes there and looks okay no no don't do this yeah you can't do that you see so the person public will fix safety. it right away for work public environment s- safety my goodness you know um, there are so many different applications that uh, this safe could be life, beneficial. Safe Driving. But at the same time, I see you know people wearing it to go and rob a bank or something. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Giving them um, probability to, you know, the best path to, to, to get in and out. Yeah. 
and see where you know it's more strong the typing of the yes. password of a safe or something like that. They've already buy it. What they are you buying it. <laughs> did some sort of like raffling where hundred people, seventy five dollars buy in, right? And it's seventy five hundred dollars, and then you buy one, and you do a raffle, and somebody wins it. You could find creative ways to. If you had people like a. If you're an influencer, you have people that will buy in enough people, and you can just do raffles on them. Because I see that all the time on Facebook. Like, there's gun raffles, there's computer raffles. You just need people to buy in; it pays for it. Then, if you you don't get it, you spent fifty bucks, you spent seventy five dollars, whatever. Yes. You have people the risk. Find creative you have the ways. risk of winning. But you have yeah, and it's not that much of a loss. People go to a casino and lose hundreds of dollars. Yes. You know, so there's people will find ways of getting these out there. You know. I think it's interesting. Yeah. It's a bit expensive, but... With all these options now to buy one and keep, and the ones you... you the, the one you just uh, suggested, yeah. well, we already have two, two possible uses there. Well, we <laughs> and all... And business, too, as you mentioned. Yeah, we all will have it. You yeah, know, some like, we, we... Just a matter of when. Yeah, we began with Motorola's, and then, you know... And, and the Razor... Because, yeah, the, yeah, the razor. Uh, I mean, even before the razor, right? Five one two zero. Oh. Yeah, we, we all be. You know, we all had all the phones that are like cheaper than the the, the the BlackBerry, right? The Nokia brick. The, the the Nokia was cheaper, so we all had that, and then we migrated to a little bit more expensive phones. So I, we all will have these. Because they've gotten bubbles. clever with the financing and finding ways for people to get it. You know, now we lease phones like cars. People trade them in every year, yes. and you just finance it. And you pay it off in two years. They're finding they create ways business models for that to get it there's in your a, hands, and they're making even more money. There's a second market, a strong second market because but of that too. That happened with like the Google Glass project. You know, Google made glasses that was supposed to do something, and I, it just. The technology at the time wasn't there. So if yeah. you spent the money buying that, trying to sell it later and make money, maybe now it's not worth anything. I don't think that's going to happen with Apple. Yeah. I almost think I, they're too big to fail. At this point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Things can change, but right Someone now... Someone else could take over, but... Yes. The, their marketing is just so unmatched. Imagine if it was a bird instead of a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> if we met, it, it was successful it was successful being a fruit apple it, it, what, what would happen if it was a bird we would support it we're a bird supporting yeah, exactly. podcast, yeah, yeah, right. supporting podcast. <laughs> and i would say if they make one version of this thing that everything everything that you see is a bird I'll buy it. You know exactly. I mean? right. Right. So, so I'm talking to three birds in here. Right? So, so, <laughs> I know. <laughs> we could, oh, we could go crazy. He said he wants to be a hawk. Yeah, yeah. I want to be a hawk. You know what I mean? Like, Good for you. Yeah. Be a seahawk. I want to be an American <laughs> bald eagle. That's and, what I would want to be. And I hope this is just the first time we're going we're to gonna talk about this because probably very soon one of, a, one of us will have it. Or um, some big update will happen and we'll have to come back to it, you know? Exactly. That's, yeah. a, that's my point, yeah. yeah. So maybe you have to come back to that. Because if I buy it, I promise, if I buy it, I will I will, I will use it for a week and I will, I will let each of you guys use it for a week. Okay? I entered a giveaway. I probably won't win because there's yeah. thousands of people. That, but I, I'm finding giveaways, yes. trying to find a way to get it without yeah. paying for it. Exactly. I was telling them when you went out, uh, <laughs> raffles, imagine if you had a big enough following on Facebook or something and you got like 100 people to put pay in like a raffle ticket for like 75 bucks that's 7500 then you buy it you keep the profit someone gets it everyone who didn't only lost 75 dollars like you could find business models for getting this out there yeah. oh yeah no for sure it's getting interesting <laughs> his mind's where he's like ah, we should, what, what, do we, we know 100 people yeah. between the four of us that would yeah in? maybe the podcast the podcast could they could have it yeah and do this business or the podcast like, we could just divide in four yeah i would do that for sure <laughs> it's cheaper than way like it's like yeah. the same as buying a boat i like, buy a boat huh? it's, all it's going. too expensive okay so what if everybody chips in to buy a boat and then you know it had, that's we'll make it a time four share. weekends four weekends in a month so hey yeah ladies and gentlemen at, at home ladies and gentlemen at home ladies and please gentlemen like home. subscribe comment and share because i think that not a bad idea. Let us know if you want to raffle and, and enter in, and we can 
Yeah. We'll facilitate. Exactly. If you we'll Apple, facil- I would do that. Yeah. You can do our podcast. Apple. Yes. With the Apple Vision Pro. Yeah. 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 Be in here with us. Sit right yeah. in. Yeah. 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 See. Wow. <laughs> what if we could sit in on a like yeah. a Joe Rogan podcast or exactly. something? Like he has a chair right here. <laughs> Not Joe Rogan, the Pup Drink Talk podcast. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, where, uh, that's where everyone wants I to I get be. to do this. <laughs> but the others don't, so they can yeah. now. That's they my golden now. goose. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> sit so in the you, Oval Office, see what it feels like, you know? Do we wrap this and go and uh, Super Bowl is uh, this weekend, right? It is. Yes, so we got to wrap it up our football season thing. We do. Uh, do we have the Battle of the Logos? Uh, I think it's, I mean, now it doesn't really matter, does it? It's not a Battle of the Logo. Anymore. Yeah, but maybe we could do like a suit. Yeah, yeah. it is, isn't it? It's still okay, a Battle yeah, of the I, Logos. Let's do it, let's do I it. Can run Super the, Bowl. The Battle of the Logo. Okay, that's a Battle of the Logo. <clears throat> so let's see what, what is coming Battle. out. Super Bowl edition. So it's uh, San Francisco 49ers. Nobody Dylan runs this part, so. I was letting you take it away. Uh, Connor, why don't you remind us about the colors of San Francisco? And uh, red, like... white, gold. What do they represent? Uh, they represent the gold rush mining of the 1849. 49ers is when gold was found in California and started the gold rush. Okay. So that's where you get the name and the colors. Because to me, it's a pretty basic logo. Just colors and... The letters. 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 Are, yes. so, yeah. And then on the other side? More letters. 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 So yes, no letters. logo is in the Super Bowl. I, it is a logo. I guess uh, it's Chiefs, on letters. But it's not the a Chiefs logo. Chiefs is more of a logo with an arrowhead, at least. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. I'm also going to go with yeah, the Chiefs. Chiefs. I'm going to go with... Did all four of us just We're agree sweep the on, the, yes. on, the, on the Super Bowl? I think you'd be silly to not take them. Yes. I just hate the 49ers. They're in the same division with the Seahawks, and I just can't They want to make them. history because they. this is going to be – I mean, this is going to set up also the next years for Mahomes. Mahomes, yeah. you know. He's going to set in his name. Um, I think the NFL wants – we. they need a hero. So they also need Taylor Swift to celebrate oh, they on the need, field. Oh, so yeah, the 49ers yeah. are the San Francisco 49ers have the most postseason victories in playoffs, 38 yes. in the NFL. While the Cowboys five. and the Vikings are tied for the most playoff losses, wow. 31. Cleveland Brown have the lowest playoff win loss percentage. 49ers are they don't need more playoff wins. No. And they're already up there with how many Super Bowls? Five. They're up there with uh yeah, Patriots. Cowboys have five. That's another thing. Like Cowboys and 49ers is a big rivalry. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they haven't won since the same era as the Cowboys, and I don't want to see them win the before Patriots we do. How many Patriots have? Five? Six? Five? That's a great question. I don't know off the top of my head. I think the team with the most might be the Packers. Yeah. That's what I... Heard. I don't know if it's the Patriots. Is Packers it? only have four. Patriots with six. Yes. Steelers with yeah. six. Niners like and six Cowboys right with five. Yeah. Well, yeah, because Brady has six seven. With, he got yes. six with them and one in Tampa, Tampa Bay. Bay. Yeah. And Green Bay with four. I think Green Bay might have won the first Super Bowl. Is what yes, I was Super Bowl one. Yes. One and two. Against the Chiefs. Well, yes, sir. I, I think the Chiefs um, has better logo, even though it's just letters. <laughs> uh, but, I, uh, yeah, Chiefs for me. If we do, like, a short recap on the season, there was a clear time when people really counted them out. They had, like, a... Downward Damn. trend on a few weeks. They weren't winning, and people didn't think they were going to make it. And I, I just thought to I, myself, they're the freaking remember. Chiefs. I did. I, I just really think they're going to go, and they did. And now I think I said in the very first one that the, the Chiefs would be in the Super Bowl, yeah. if I remember. Um, I picked, I picked them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I picked them in every single he's got, game. He's got you, old man memory. He yes. can't remember to tie his shoes and chew bubble gum. I, I have no idea about football. I so. thought it was Chiefs. <laughs> it's like one of the only teams Sue, like you know, Kansas City. Like oh, it's the Chiefs. Yes. <laughs> he's, you, I think you're right about that. Yes. No, we but, don't need to go back and. No, I didn't never. I never mentioned anything about Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. 
I thought that the Cowboys would be in their Super Bowl. I think it'd be interesting as we transition into the next season of sports with F1. We could all say, who do we think is going to win the Constructors' Championship? Who do we think is going to win the Drivers' Championship? The NBA. And we write it down in the NBA. And then we just wait, you know? They call the way uh, way too early picks, right? Ah, Yeah. yeah. Way too early. It's before before the season starts. Before the draft, you know, because the draft changes everything. Yes, it does. The the draft, like Wemby, for... You know, for but it didn't really change San Antonio oh, that much. Yeah, yeah, but he's figuring it out. He figured out the league in in half a season. Yeah, he he's nineteen. He figured it out the um, whole league. The last sorry, team, yes. He, oh, you're fine. The last team to win back to back Super Bowls was the Patriots in 03, 04. Mm-hmm. So Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs have an opportunity to do it now. They had an opportunity. And Tom Brady with the yeah. Bucks are the reason they didn't win back to back. Exactly. So he's trying to do something that hasn't been done in twenty years. Wow. So it's the the stage is set. Yeah. It's gonna and be Taylor, a good one. And, and I'm, Swift's I'm, gonna be there. I'm telling you, Taylor Swift's gonna be She's there. She's gonna travel from Japan. Well, well, hold on, wasn't she gonna be? <laughs> I'm gonna be on. Uh, on she's gonna uh, be in Japan, but she's concert. gonna use her, gen, her she's jet. She's gonna private jet yeah. over. But I think if if the NFL is rigged. Chiefs have to win. It's it's we're in the Taylor Swift era. Yeah, man, she has a new about, album man, coming think out. Think about the theory. Cora is the biggest Swiftie here. Think yeah, about he the conspiracies. Her. Think about the conspiracies that we're gonna hear, man. It's you, gonna be ridiculous. You oh, can yeah, go to a Taylor ridiculous. Swift concert with the Apple Provision, Apple yeah. Vision Pro. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I know how much you love her. Thirty five hundred dollars worth. That's probably about the price of a concert I was ticket. Just gonna yeah. say that. <laughs> ticket to see Taylor Swift or a Vision, yeah, Vision Pro. Think about how many times you could see her with a Vision Pro. That is true. One time in person. There's a cheaper way of doing it to just go to a cinema where they're playing <laughs> the game. That's what my daughter did with her best friend and uh, and, and their mom. Oh, and she had like the concert movie yeah, thing that came yeah, out. Yeah, they they all went to. The There's this that. advertisement. That I don't know if you saw it. Is that? A guy complaining about, oh, she's gonna she's gonna use her jet from Japan to the West, and then they're talking about the pollution, and then the guy is inside a gigantic truck, like, like throwing uh, like, diesel like fuel. Diesel. Yeah. 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 He's just rolling he's like, coal, he, you know. All his face, like, ah, you see, she's polluting the world. Yeah, like, that is a big thing. There's like a, it's a meme. Thing. Shut up, man. Yeah, there's a there's on a, X. There's accounts that just track. The flights of celebrities. Yeah. Just, I know, just I know. To go over the yeah. I'm like, Why are you so? Do you remember Elon with Musk it? complained about that because of security? He was re- yes, he was revealing where he was. So he, so the same guy that was doing Elon Musk so is also it? doing. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll just buy Twitter. I'll shut <laughs> it down. You know? <laughs> but the same guy who was doing that to Elon Musk is also doing it to Taylor Swift. Yeah, yes. And I guess he, Elon Musk, was reaching out like, "Hey, this is what I did to stop it." You gotta, you gotta do this, this, and this because it's gonna be a pain in your ass dealing with someone tracking you down. Actually, he, he could do a favor for these people if he mislead, mislead, misled, you know, by minutes or by you know by distance or by places. Send the jet somewhere, but yeah. he's not. Oh, you know. Oh, your ex post got delayed twenty minutes. Yeah. Quick, yeah. swift, yeah. get on. Go. Yeah. I'll give you twenty minutes. Yeah. But, I yeah. Mean, <laughs> at the core of it, he wants freedom of speech and all this stuff so it's creating a weird gray area with the security of it yeah. and all so but as of now it stands it's still out there i just saw one yesterday because she flew like a, it was a 15 minute private jet flight in the same state it's like here delay, man. It was a, i think air t- it was 13 minutes she was in the air she couldn't just take a car right that's, that's two what hours. people are complaining about well i mean if you have the money to do it whatever kobe bryant he used the helicopter because he, he wanted to be with his that, family more. Yeah, he exactly. just It would take him way too long. He wanted more time with his family. And yes. He did die because of it. Well, but, think about that. If, this if, you ha- if you can't afford a helicopter in a, in a jet, definitely time is the most important asset you have. Yep. Right. And if you like your family, if you really like your private life, it's dumb not Tonight. doing that. Right. I remember, yes, Warren Buffett, uh, he used to... To, to travel um, <clears throat> um, economic economy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people start, the companies start asking, please don't do that. Because every time you do, everything gets late. Like uh, people would harass, you know, like it was so bad that, okay, so I'm going to travel business. So he travels business. He doesn't travel first class. 
even though he could. I mean, he owns half of a Delta. Yeah. Right. So, but the, for the same reasons. Hmm. It's interesting. I'm sure Warren Buffett's picking the Chiefs too. Just a hunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he bets? Um, I mean, that's on the stock market. He, oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. bets on the stock market. He eats McDonald's every day. I'm sure he's betting. He's you betting know who his else life. I think he eats McDonald's almost every day. Is Trump? Yeah, that's what I've heard. It's not good for you, man. That's why he's shaped like a meatball. You know? <laughs> There's a lot of trans fat in there. It's, in which what? It's which so one? funny. It's so funny. It was like making fun of Chris. <laughs> Chris, Chris uh, you know, Chris, Chris, Chris. Yeah. Sorry, McDonald's. He was making fun of him. Like, what the fuck, man? You're just as fat as him. Yeah. When He's two a bully. meatballs <laughs> argue with each other. <laughs> meatballs. Yes. They look that was really funny. Cloudy with funny. the chance, you know. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Guys, I think it's time that we wrap this yeah. up. Yeah. It's been a fantastic <laughs> podcast on that note. Subscribe. Like. Comment. Share. And uh, we will see you next week with another fantastic in-depth topic uh, discussing the Super Bowl. Yes. Yeah, yeah the results. The results of the Super Bowl. We might have some clips on how did we watch it. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Be prepared. Be yes. That's some exclusive content next week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's good. Anyways, <laughs> have some... a great night, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Cheers.